This diagram illustrates a coronary artery bypass graft, a surgical procedure that restores blood flow to heart muscle by bypassing blocked coronary arteries using grafts from other parts of the body. Main components in the diagram. The left subclavian artery delivers blood to the left arm and provides a source for arterial grafts. The internal mammary artery graft, A, is a preferred arterial graft, often left attached at one end in the chest and sewn to a coronary artery beyond the blockage. The saphenous vein graft B, harvested from the leg, is sewn from the aorta to a coronary artery downstream of the blockages. Blockages represent the locations in the heart's arteries where plaque disrupts blood flow. The grafts bypass these blockages to restore circulation. Step-by-step -step CABG procedure. Graft harvesting, arterial grafts, usually the internal mammary artery or radial artery from the arm, are chosen for long-term patency. Vein grafts, commonly the saphenous vein from the leg, are easier to harvest, but more prone to future blockages. Chest opening. The procedure begins with a median sternotomy, cutting through the sternum to expose the heart. Graft placement. One end of the vein or arterial graft is sewn to the aorta or subclavian artery for arterial grafts. The other end is attached to a coronary artery downstream from the blockage. Multiple grafts may be placed depending on the number and location of blockages. Restoring circulation, blood can now flow through the grafts, bypassing the blocked sections and ensuring the heart muscle receives oxygen.